So, did you sleep well? <sighs> I did. Did you grow a mustache? I did. Do you like it? I guess. It's just a little weird. Weird? Well, you have me chained up in your basement, and I told you the other day I was going to grow a mustache, and then you come down here and you have a mustache. Whatever. You didn't invent mustaches. Whatever, man. You're copying me. I'm not. Could I just please have some of my Patriot Supply oatmeal? oatmeal? See? We're so alike. We finish each other's sentences. Ugh. Everybody loves my Patriot Supply, especially the... Pudding? pudding. See? We're like brothers. <sighs> hey, maybe next Tuesday, do you think I could go to the bathroom alone? How about this? I won't hold it. I'll just watch. Thank you. I'm gonna hang out with my friend Gerald until then. You know, I just can't help it. Let's just get right into it. Uh, hey, guess who's going bankrupt? Ah. So, oh. <laughs> people listening on audio, you have to go over to you, YouTube or Rumble. Equal and pay sense. deal in soccer. Oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> so glad, <laughs> glad to be with you. So you're going to reduce the men's pay. That's what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> or performance. Yeah. Uh, Glad to be with you. We have so much to get to today. Look, one thing I want to talk about today, and I just need to let you know if we get removed, and I'm not just saying today, yeah, be talking about the election. Just so you know, freest, fairest election of all time. Yes. I don't buy it. Come at me, YouTube. So <laughs> if we get uh, removed or we don't tell you that we are doing uh, or not doing a show, I should say, we're doing it every Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern, Rumble and Mug Club, where today we're going to do an extra 45 minutes on uh, stuff that we can't talk about here. That's true. And something that you love near and dear. Well, it's important to note, look, there's a narrative now that's coming crumbling down. And I think people, and I hate to use that term because everyone in politics, like, well, narrative, like, you know, yeah. Cawthorn, like a narrative that I stuck my uh, junk in my cousin's face. Like, well, that's not a narrative. You did it. <laughs> um, <laughs> that people, it's required for you to not question what's happening or what has happened, certainly with a myriad, myriad issues, whether it's COVID, whether it's the election. And a, a sort of a, a fun, the foundation of that is that this is the most popular former vice president ever, ever. Uh, Joe ever. Biden. We've gone through now, there's been some Twitter analytics that show how many followers of his are fake. But when we look at what's happened with YouTube and how they've actually changed the algorithms, and the dislike buttons for him, once you remove that precept, it all comes crumbling down. And there is no way that this is the most popular president of all time. So let me, you know, comment, you comment below. Do you buy? Do the, what would they tally it up to now? 142 million votes that he got? <laughs> I think maybe 150. Do you buy that every single one of those votes is legitimate it's okay yes YouTube. it's okay youtube hit that button it's okay i dare you all right Who so we'll be talking about that but first gerald a how are you sir i am well how are you my neck is just i'm Got doing a the thing, yeah yeah it's just recurring yeah and the chiropractors are mad at us from two days ago when we you know pointed out the truth wait you you tried to go see one and they wouldn't crack your neck well i tried to see one through a scope uh, and then uh, <laughs> he waved. No idea what that means. <laughs> it was more of a flail. Yeah. <laughs> Help! Uh, um, Saw the red dot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can follow him on Twitter at Landau Dave. He's going to be uh, May, this this weekend, the 27th, 28th at Big Al's in Emily, Minnesota. Dave Landau, how are you? Next weekend, sorry. Yeah. You're all good. Ahoy. How about you? I didn't. I forgot the date. <laughs> That's right. You're fine. I forgot what today's <laughs> what date day? was. I remembered your I, date. I don't know dates. Yeah. Yeah, well. But Big, big Al. Stuff. Big Al is a good big dude. Al. Is he big still big? Show. He's an actual person? Yeah, he's a big fan of the show. Ah, good for really him. Really good guy. Good big, job, Al. big Al. That's bold, get putting your name on there and it's Big Al and it not yeah. being, you know, a, a male strip club. He's or a, a gay fella. animal sanctuary. Yes, exactly. 
<laughs> but he's actually a yeah, really great guy, big fan of the show. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. We also have to amend, we're going to have to amend uh, something that we discussed yesterday regarding sure. uh, Project Veritas and the honey potting that they do. Yeah. Uh, so we will admonish ourselves. We have to do a fact check. We'll do that later today. But first, here is uh, one of my favorite <laughs> clips of the week ever, actually, not just this week, of ever of all time. Here's an Amazon porch thief. That's a problem. Right. I've had them. Mm-hmm. Also, by the way, stop sending me communion cups. Johnny Boy, and I, I have gotten the wrong package to my house so many times, and it's uh. it's 4,000 little communion cups. It's every Catholic in America trying to get you to convert. No, no, no. It's clearly a church that has a similar address, and I just like, uh. I don't know where to, I tried to return it. They won't let me return it. So Amazon, you know, get, get your crap together. Get your crap together. <laughs> and for Catholics, we used to just share. <laughs> yeah, exactly. From the, from the Holy Grail God. Oh, that's true. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's a herpes epidemic. That's, yeah, well. So... This Amazon porch thief, uh, Father O'Malley, naughty boy, (laughs) he runs into the brick wall that is a USMC veteran, uh, and by the way, it means a Marine. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I wasn't trying to steal it. And lays on the man's balcony who was just trying to rob in a puddle of his own feces. He's like, ah, oh, damn. I just go rest. Oh, I that shit myself. The... You got a wet wipe? Oh, oh sh- <laughs> is this box got a modium in it? <laughs> I love that. It's the best. Get use. my ass a Pepto Bismol. Oh, yeah. like, the best use of a ring doorbell you think, ever. You think yeah, the man's going to help you who you just tried to rob? Yeah. But you said you weren't trying to rob yet. The only way that's going to go off is if you try to take the yeah. package. Yeah. If you have a mask on, why? <laughs> You're obviously there just to help, right? You know that guy's robbed a bank and just showed yeah. up to a teller with blue die like this money is defective i need to return it <laughs> yeah the blue die goes off uh, did you see what he did oh, he I reached- myself <laughs> it's a, oh that's brown die that's, that's what that's, that is yeah you gave it was like it was like that one i found it yeah. Yeah. oh man he reached into his underwear and pulled his hand up to his smell it and said i shit myself i don't think that's necessary <laughs> but no it's not that's, that's a choice at that point well yeah but that's on camera and like he wasn't gonna put it on the internet <laughs> I think you can feel, yes, yes, indeed, I have crapped my pants. I don't need to feel down yeah, there to see that, if it's true. That's going to haunt him every day the rest of his life from everyone he knows. <laughs> you, think he's gonna, you think he's going to wear a diaper now when he goes porch thieving? Oh, probably. Oh, yeah. I Just love a- that guy's taunting. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. A Marine Corps. USMC. I love that he tells who he is. <laughs> That's what you get. Our Navy. <laughs> uh, I just the sense of entitlement to go back to the porch that you were trying to rob to ask for help. And you live next door. Yeah. He's like, I live next door. I wasn't I trying, trying to, to steal. Help. I was trying to bring the package back. What did you <laughs> learn is robbing from the big bad wolf? <laughs> Let me in. Not by the hair of my chin and chin chin, mother. I need to use the phone. Yeah. In case you didn't know who I was because of the mask, I live right next door and I got shit in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, though. Somebody shit my pants. He lives next door. They're going to yeah, have to see each other every day. Yeah, yeah every day. Hi, Carl. For, forever. Just puts his head down and walks yeah. away. How's your pants? <laughs> I noticed, I noticed you, you, you tend to only wear brown dickies now. Is that what you do? That's a what? style choice, right? That's what, hey, can you pick up this package for me? <laughs> <laughs> you just, hey, you got a job yet? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, uh, I want to make amends. Got a gift for you. Just tosses him a mousetrap. Oh damn! Oh damn! Yeah. I pooped again. Just th- throws a flashbang at him. Here you go, bye. Yeah, while he catches it, all of a sudden he's just getting hit with bottle rockets. <laughs> just a Roman candle. <laughs> he owns that guy now. <laughs> totally. Screw with him forever. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> I'm sorry. I needed that. Okay. Everyone That's should great. do that. That yes. helps. Yeah. Even the- if it's your loved one who's coming home and picking up the package. Yeah. Well. well- <laughs> That's what you get, Felicia. Yeah. I told you. Yelling at your wife. Do it to old incontinent Uncle Mo. Yes. 
<laughs> that would get him. By the move. way, don't do that. Don't don't rig yeah. your packages as much. Yeah, it's like as way we. less funny. It's just oh, my hip shattered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Help. sorry. Like, yeah, you gonna bleed out on the porch. Yeah, you like that? I did nothing to you. <laughs> I was trying to help. <laughs> it was labeled. It was labeled with my name and Christmas yes. wrapped. Yes. Amazon told me they gave it to you to yes. give to me. It's a metamucil. <laughs> oh, I'll keep you regular mother. Oh, oh, no. oh gosh. I hope there's a follow up of them. You know, I do. Just pulling up at night. So fun. Good evening, Love Sam. It. All right. He smells his hand. <laughs> You almost like, hey, would, you, would you look at it? You didn't know. Yeah, you didn't. you're like, is this? Oh, is that pudding? Yeah, no, I'm you, just, I'm just disoriented. <laughs> the only thing it could be, sir. <laughs> Starts blaming him. You put shit in my pants. Yeah. You what? Why would you do that? What kind oh, of voodoo? What? <laughs> that was a shit explosive. Oh, jeez. I heard about, I, I heard about these, but I never seen it. <laughs> I want to see a slow mo of him when he grabs the package and goes that's flying off the board. That's some duty mite that you got in there. <laughs> not my fault. It's an M shitty. Uh, <laughs> All right. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. We're that's children. Sl- we're uh, not sorry. <laughs> no, we're not, and neither is that guy, and it's hilarious. <laughs> But we are. Children. We just need more of this. I hope oh. just that there are a bunch of people who start doing this in New York City. Well, and I think the guy's fine. I don't think it was like he didn't get shot or anything. So. I wouldn't care. <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, no, at a certain point, like there used to be a time in society when people think- were only net drains, where all they would do is steal or harm. And you're like, I'm sorry, we're just we're just going to have to execute you. It wasn't just for the <laughs> offense of murder. It's like if you're doing nothing but taking and harming, you were you were excommunicated from the group. There you go. Yeah, I'm sure everybody Australia. here has had an Amazon package stolen. I've had many. Yep. Which really, when you think about it, that's a, that could be a lot of work for very little payoff. You don't know that's what's true. in those packages. Yeah. No. no. You get home and you're like, oh, good, vitamins right. for yeah. women. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or COVID tests like in L.A. But sometimes <laughs> it could be good. <laughs> Baby formula. Oh, my scalp that shit. Woo! Yeah, you just got 10 grand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's old. Uh, that's old price gouger uh, t- tie. Yeah. yeah, you can get your formula from him. He's got a corner on Similac. <laughs> Doesn't smell the best, but you know, good for upset stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I do that because we're gonna have to get something a little bit, uh, a little bit heavier here. Uh, but uh, you remember the guy Jaden, Jaden Hayden? Hmm. I know it, it sounds a, like a made-up name, but it's not. Rhyme. <laughs> Uh, he was the man who was on video, and this is another example of why we love seeing what you just saw because of the catch and release that you see with violent criminals, that you see yeah. with the worst among us. It's destroyed cities, and this namely happens in leftist cities. So Jaden Hayden was uh, the man uh, who was on video, and I warn you that this next, unlike the previous clip, which was hysterical and fun for the whole family, it was a feel-good story of the year. This is pretty rough. I'm going to show it really short, but this is the guy who beat up an elderly man in uh, the old folks' home in Michigan. Let me refresh your memory, and I'll, I'll keep it as short as I can. Maybe it was in Westland. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. People get the point. Yeah. So um, in case you don't remember, that video goes on for a minute and a half. was not the only video of that kind because of policy that was taking place in Michigan. Again, under the guise yeah. of COVID, all of your, your freedoms and basic social boundaries were removed where they were putting young, pay, young people who tested positive for COVID into old folks' homes. Yeah, that was not a worker. I no. originally thought that was somebody who worked there who was pissed off beating. Nope, that was somebody put in his room. And that old oh. man went on to uh, to die. To two kill two himself. months later, yeah. Start himself. So after the time of the arrest, that uh, that man, Jaden, his father did come out. And to his father's credit, and he even said that his son had mental problems. He said, it should have never happened because he should have never been put in that environment. I just don't want people to think that he's this vicious individual. He's got mental issues. Well, look, he does have mental issues, and he's a vicious individual. And um, the guy, the old man, uh, died two months after the beating. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. What yeah, happened is— can be true. Yeah. After the—well, uh, uh, he was arrested in April. He was just found— this is this is the quote incompetent to go to trial because he was diagnosed with autism and schizophrenia uh and uh so that's it no so just back on the street right yeah yep oh you back out that's oh that's the best place for him yeah so so wait a minute so can can, he has schizophrenia Mm -hmm. and so we're we're just like yeah put him back on the street yeah well he's Ah. incompetent to uh to, to to go through a trial can we can we it's like, well, so he's comp- so, but he's competent for society, right? It's like yes. he can't just say the words "not guilty" in a plea because he's so out of his mind. Let's send him back out in the street. No, no, no. He's going to be a poll worker. Yes, so. yeah. <laughs> he's going to make sure the election. He's going to be the two thousand and first mule. Yeah. Yes, he's doing security <laughs> at an old folks' home in Florida. Right. <laughs> 
So this is, again, like I've talked about, it was because Whitmer decided this is what happened. Young people with COVID were sent into nursing homes. You know, yeah. people talk about how it spread like wild, wildfire through nursing homes. And I understand that because old people were more susceptible. We get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't that wasn't the only thing that was happening. They were sending young people with COVID saying, where do we put them? Uh, nursing homes. And by the way, this is something that we did a rally where some media tried to claim it was like some kind of a supremacy rally or they tried to claim that there were terrorists. Yeah. Then they tried to say, actually, oh. it was nothing. There were only 300 people when there were thousands of people on the state lawn. And you can still, by the way, send your FOIA request uh, mm-hmm. to Governor Whitmer at lightroadscutter.com slash Whitmer death toll. She's never released the actual numbers. We no. know that it's much, much higher than what she's admitted. Yeah. Well, but- yeah, well, co- I mean, a lot of people died of COVID and blows to the head. So in fairness, yes. it wasn't all COVID. It wasn't all COVID. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not I mean, even kidding. Sending She's COVID patients really back into a nursing home was a bad enough idea. Obviously, it happened in New York. It happened in Michigan. It happened other places too. But sending a young person into it, it's like these are the most vulnerable people, both for violence yes. and for something like COVID. What the hell? We had been thinking? saying from the beginning, you need to protect the vulnerable, yeah. namely the elderly, the immune compromised, and then let it run its course with society, not lock everyone else down. From they the did the exact opposite. Now, I want to really be clear about something. I talked about this with Nancy Pelosi. People use the lazy argument, oh, you're a hypocrite. Oh, so un- Governor Whitmer's a hypocrite. Nancy, it's not that they're a hypocrite. Everyone is a hypocrite. If you have any kind of standards, you're a hypocrite. Okay, I'm a hypocrite. Gerald's a hypocrite. Dave's a hypocrite. Everyone here is a hypocrite. It's not that someone is hip- hypocritical. It's when they are demanding rules of you that they don't believe. So Governor yeah. Whitmer, the small action that told you that was true is when she locked down the state and she was out with 12 people at a pizza parlor with no mask on that told you not that she was a hypocrite but that she wasn't actually scared of covid when she was saying we need to lock down the economy because we need to protect people and sending young people with covid into old folks homes it's not that she's hypocritical it's that she doesn't actually care about saving people she doesn't buy what she's selling you that's the issue and that's what is destroying our country right now. It's not that she doesn't care about saving people. She's an accomplice to murder at that point. Yep. In my opinion. Well, and she point? has her husband point, calling places and saying, I'd like to get my boat in the water yeah, uh, yeah. if that's okay. And then he's like, <laughs> what if I say, tell you I'm the governor's uh, husband? He's like, well, then I would tell you you're never allowed to put uh, your boat in the right. water at my dock. I would, yeah. I would like yeah. to apologize for your boat burning tomorrow. Yeah. yeah but, <laughs> oh, you're the one with the glass bottom boat. No, no. Oh, he's sorry. It's just a hole. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. That's our bad. <laughs> but yeah, she. you're absolutely right. These are people. People who they use power. That's not hypocrisy. You, right. You know what happens to you, Dave, if you're negligent and it leads to the death of somebody else? Oh, you go to prison. Potentially you're in jail. Yeah. Right. So As you should. Governor Whitmer, you were pretty negligent here. This wasn't like far off stuff that you had to go, oh right. man, what in my crystal ball should I do with people who have COVID that are twenty seven years old that have mental problems? Yeah. We we could have figured that out pretty easily, right? That's not negligence? Well, two things. First off, admonish Gerald. Hit that admonish button because Whitmer does not use a crystal ball. Oh. She used the mirror mirror on the wall. Admonish. We want to make sure we get that point. right. Also, True. the guy who we just showed you, the Marine who rigged his uh, Amazon package, uh-huh. he does that in the wrong state. He's the one arrested. Well, so you have people right, like yeah. this criminal back on the streets. You have repeat violent offenders back on the streets. And then people who protect their own house and home are the ones who are arrested. Keep in mind, this is the same party that wants to vilify you for having a gun in your house to protect yourself. It's the inconsistency, which cons- the inconsistency of their policies consistently leads to d- to the death of more law-abiding citizens, to yeah. the harm of more law-abiding c- c- citizens. Citizens, yes. You, I, the, my, my my neck thing is messing you, up. My, I have a, <laughs> do you have a stroke? I ate, no, I ate a bunch of a, like acidic food, and you get like one of those bumps in your tongue. Yeah. So I'm sitting there trying to talk like this. You know what could make that that yeah, Marine Corps thing better? Like that he could like do a glitter bomb as well. Like just, just to rub it in, like pink just glitter oh, all over it. I shit myself, and I look gay. Oh, oh man, this is bad. Oh. Why did why'd you put the glitter in there? Oh, I can't man. get this off, man. This I look all Abba-like. Yeah. Oh no, I shit myself, and I look gay. This is almost like a gay. And he just starts playing over the speakers. The gay mating yeah. call just shares. Do you believe in love? Let me in. They're coming for me. Come on. He all of a sudden realizes his mouth is glued. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> can I use your water hose? He just has the to outrun a bunch of him. gay guys like twenty eight dicks later. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> help me. Oh, help, help. Help. I smell I'm coming in glitter. They're playing share. I'm being chased. What was in that package? Astro Glide. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you buy ball gags? <laughs> 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 I knew it was coming. Uh, all right. But yeah, that 
That's uh, we need more uh, <laughs> violent schizophrenics on the streets in Detroit. Yeah, I've always yeah. said that. Well, we're we're reaching that point where a lot of people don't realize this. You know, you had the soft on crime era, and then you had these heroes uh, in film like Dirty Harry, like Charles Bronson, right? Death Wish, where you, the vigilante genre was something that was cathartic for Americans because they felt helpless, and you saw that in New York City with uh, uh, Bernie uh, Bernie Getz. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think there's a big disconnect between the Democratic Party and, again, law-abiding citizens who are seeing their neighborhoods being destroyed and feel as though they're helpless. And they're seeing policies coming down the pike, like disarming them, like more catch and release, like basically some kinds of subsidies. I mean, we can yeah. add all of these up to encourage people to not work, which we know does not make for a productive law-abiding society. And there's a real disconnect between the elites who are not affected and you. And that's yeah. why you have to rig your porch with uh, you know, a glitter bomb. And then you see politicians actively stoking this violence, like going out and participating in these protests that burn down cities, yeah. saying that we'll have to be in the streets. Like right before George Floyd's verdict was read, like if, if it doesn't come back the right way, we're burning it down, basically. Like that. It's they not the same just with Roe v. Not, Wade. It's not you're just you're not protected. It's they're actively encouraging the thing that is costing you and your community. Right. Every single time. And you're being told that it's virtuous by yeah. the people that are supposed to protect you. Right. Who create the laws. Who do you think would get more trouble? The people protesting, let's say, at Brett Kavanaugh's house. And I know they're on public right. property, but let's say that they went up to the porch and they get, you know, hit with like an Acme Spring boom that sends That's them back to the get. Capitol. Of course, it would be a national Brett story Kavanaugh. about how Kavanaugh would be in trouble. Yeah, of, of course. course. I mean, he was accused of gang rape, which we know is complete. We know for a an, an un- this is not, it's not up for debate. It's not, a, there's no conversation about it. It has been proven verifiably that there was no gang rape that had ever taken place. But you still have some people who believe it. Oh, of course. All right. <clears throat> Here's a story that uh, just happened, uh, which is, I guess, somewhat believable. But uh, uh, <laughs> somewhat? I don't know. <laughs> it's a real story. <laughs> a three-month-old giraffe was successfully rehabilitated with an oh. orthotic leg brace treatment. Oh, got the picture go. right there. There's, it's that. a Don Joy yeah, brace. Those nice. I, don't, I don't agree with you guys on this one. I think it's very exciting. If you're a giraffe and your legs don't work, come on. What do you do? Your ticket's been punched. What's, what's going to come in next with a neck brace? I mean, come yeah. on. It's like you, you only have two things, long legs and a neck. What do you drop him in the Serengeti and just let nature take its course? Yeah. Yes. If nature's kind, they'll take him in as one of their own, but nature isn't. It's a cruel place. So they'll eat him. But yes. humans can be kind, and they built legs. Yes, yeah. exactly. Braces. Aww. All you do is stand tall, and you can't even do that. The, actually, he was born with legs. They were blown off trying to steal an Amazon bag. <laughs> <laughs> well... Jeffrey's fallen under a uh, hard time since <laughs> Toys R Us business. Toys, <laughs> Toys R Us business when it went down. Oof. Yeah. In its wake. <laughs> don't, don't get me started on their rival gang, the KBs. Now, mm. in sad animal news, actually, uh, Spider, the Chupacabra, mm. was decapitated in a gangland attack uh, at the Bronx Zoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Poor guy. Rough. Yeah. Who runs, by the way, who, 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 who runs the, uh, the Bronx Zoo cartel? I believe it's El Chimpo. Oh, jeez. I hear drugs are great ape. <laughs> jeez. <It's> terrible. <laughs> I don't apologize for it, but nope, uh, to the uh, Chupacabra, you know, you were taken from us too young. We are sorry. Much love. I think it's fair. I think we made our point. We, it's a proper tribute. Yeah. Hey, by the way, speaking of points, uh, this I, we just saw that commercial for uh, My Patriot Supply. Go to prepwithcrowder.com. You get $150 off on a three-month emergency food supply. Here's the thing. You know, I've worked with them before in the past, the Prep with. Crowder.com, yeah, yeah. it's Patriot Supply. Um, guys, can you send me some more of the oatmeal? I've asked you for it, and I don't know what interns you have working there, if it's like a thing where you guys are just pissing me off, refusing to send the oatmeal. It's better than the oatmeal you get at the store. Withholding oatmeal. They're withholding oatmeal. And so pudding. I love <laughs> And pudding. And pudding. You like the pudding. So love the sponsor, prepwithcrowder.com. You get $150 off, but I don't like that they have not sent me more oatmeal. Buckets of oatmeal. Yeah, it's one of those things. Look, you don't need to be a doomsday theorist. I mean, just look at the guy stealing Amazon packages. Look at that guy right now. He just was let out. He was beating up an old old dude. This is where we are in this country at this point. I lived through the ice storm in Montreal. You just yeah. need to have a supply of food, and you need to have some water, some way to heat it. People used to say that we were a conspiracy theorist. If you're like, oh, you're going to need to prep. Yeah, I'm not talking about, you know, a Red Dawn. I'm just talking about <laughs> making sure that I don't starve in the first 30 days. The original Red Dawn, not the remake yeah. at all. Right. No, but what about just supply chain issues? We've seen that with 
Name the product. Yeah. And it's happened. So, yeah, that's helpful. Unfortunately, there's no baby formula in here. Well, and you can't eat the chupacabra's head. Right. Very, I mean, that's going to go. Quickly. It can. It's just Sanui. It's so kind of gamey. So fast. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, this is another segment that we, uh, we're going to hit here because yeah. uh, he's more passionate about it. It's time for Gerald to take the reins. He knows things. Is that the best we can do, really? Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, we're going to keep that stinger. So, Gerald, you, you okay. want to you uh, educate our audience? I will. On, right? So, this Black Lives Matter stuff. And by uh, the way, you guys can all comment and we'll take your chats on uh, how, how well you think Gerald's doing with oh, this. Go ahead. You. You're just going to drink a 40 while yeah. I talk mm-hmm. about Black Is there a sponsor <laughs> brought to you by a, a <laughs> bum that bought you a drink in yes. the 90s? Yes. <laughs> can you at least get a, a brown paper bag? New sponsor. It? <laughs> bum piss. Thank you. Well, recently, uh, <laughs> recently <laughs> there was some tax filings that revealed uh, some really interesting ways to spend money for the charity, the charity that was mm-hmm. set up for Black Lives Matter. And uh, they had $90 million do- uh, in donations received in 2020 alone. And mm-hmm. uh, I think it'll be interesting for people to see how they spend it. So we had one. $90 million dollars 90 million dollars for some blm people, yeah. some people say that's a lot of money so 1.8 i believe they say that's a lot of cheddar <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know that's a fair point yep. 1.8 million was of gravy? To companies owned by the founders relatives so here's here and i'm going to say paid you understand what i mean by paid right basically they were giving money given money patrice color's brother paul was paid eight hundred and forty thousand dollar for security services dollars Eight hundred forty. Gotta keep my ass safe, dollars, right? Jeez. Damon don't Turner, want to poop. Patrice's baby daddy was paid nine hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Get this to help produce live events and creative services because that's detailed enough for us to understand that this is totally legitimate. I am a creative serving person. By the way, mm-hmm. I need you to understand something too. Did you hear those dollar amounts that I just gave out? Yes. And I told you that these donations were in 2020. This is when they got the money. So this is 2022, the beginning. This is over a very short period of time that they were paid this much money. I don't think that you could pay the highest charging company that promotes events that much money in that short of a period of time. Well, he to made that banners. Service. You could if it was I mean, unmarked on. 20s. I don't yeah. I don't think that that's true too. No, uh, this is important for people to know. It's it's entirely it's, been a scam from the beginning. It is absolutely insane. We talked about the homes that she purchased in another story we had done quite a while back, yeah. but now we're looking at the money that she just basically gave away to relatives. We just put so, her in a home. You'd be like, "Yeah, creative services. What did I you know do?" I know one that up would with, be really good for yeah. her. <laughs> I came up with like paintings of BLM. Oh, good. This is fun. You and Hunter Biden can go on a like painting tour, I guess. Yeah. All right. So another asset uh, that they have is actually stock. So they had forty-two million dollars in other assets, six million dollars in com- in a compound invested for Studio City. It's a house basically yeah. that she lives in, saying no, 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 no. It's going to be for black artists and people to come in. Yes. And then thirty-two million dollars <laughs> in stocks. Now here's why they have. That's the how I produce my mixtapes. They have the stocks to make sure that they can continue to provide for future generations of BLM activists yes. to come in and have money in the charity. I'm like, what if you buy the wrong stocks? Like, yes. what if it, the market's going down right now? How's that $32 million doing? Well, how is she going to afford her scam. battered scam oh. artist shelter? It was that's, all GameStop at its highest point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's exactly right. She hedged it with AMC. No, yes. no, 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 no. But then it was mostly in Doge. Right? Yeah. So they, yes. they love the, yes. <laughs> the dogs. It's a lot love of Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad idea. But hold on. Here's So here's, yeah, here's the silver people. lining, yes. right? Tuesday, they came out uh, on their website, and they launched the Transparency Center. Oh, maybe, wow. Maybe a little too too little too late on this Here, you quote. want me to read the quote? Yeah, read, they write, no, they, but you got read the quote in, in a good voice. Give me like a give me a voice. To yeah, read the quote. you mean something that might sound like Black Lives Matter? Or no, like Morgan or, Freeman. Or Al Sharpton. I don't know. You take your pick. <laughs> I'd almost do Morgan Freeman, make it more gentlemanly. There yeah. you go. I can do, the, uh, I can do the, the black people, white person voice so I don't get in trouble. Okay, that's fine. The uh, misinformation from the right wing about our finances is very much about what happens when black people are financially autonomous from white supremacists. Ah. There is a long-standing legacy of mistrust and doubt about how black people spend their money. Don't know why people sound like that, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so your, your truth center, right, to make sure that everybody knows that you're being transparent and honest, is basically saying white people are racist and like to tell black people how to spend their money. Okay, let's just take this away. Anybody who pays relatives to do those things for them, security services, and the guy gets almost a million dollars, the other person sets up events for you and does creative services and gets nearer a million dollars than the other person you were paying, yes, 
People are going to do that. It's called being a business. You're a charity, which means you have to tell your donors how you spend your money, and they get to say whether they like that or not. Yeah. Sorry. Real world. This Just is apply not the same kind of outrage you did to Joel Osteen or Haggard and that kind of stuff. Just, Absolutely. Right. Any church Tammy that does Fa this. Tammy Faye Baker. Just apply yeah. the same standard. Look, you're fleecing people. Also, yes. again, it's not that it's hypocritical that this person, I think uh, the house was $3 million. I can't remember. It's from a story before. It's 3 or yeah. $4 million. Yeah. It's yeah. not that it's That's hypocritical. That's the other homes. Not it's the that you don't believe it. Yeah. You don't believe that there's systemic racism and oppression because you use that system to fleece the so-called oppressors. Six million dollar house. Six million dollar house. Six million. Six well, six million. Jeez. Six in this one. She's got other houses that she bought. That the story came out. I think it was uh, Daily Mail that broke it or something like that. That she had other homes in other places. That doesn't even include this one that we mentioned. That's six million here. Well, I got a six million dollar house. I I gotta have a mountain. Mountain house. Studio I, I like to stand on them like skis. I don't think that that's true at all. <laughs> so of course, of course, the pivot is racism. Of course, course, they're mis. Yes. So here's the funny part too. They're misrepresenting our financials. <laughs> you know they you mean, call it white rich. You yes. mean by posting your financials, we're misrepresenting your financials? This is an epidemic of what we call nouveau black. Ah, yes. So <laughs> anyway, old money. Yes. Just, just in case you're thinking of donating to BLM. Don't. Yeah, don't donate to Black Lives Matter. Look, it's a scam. We always knew it was a scam, and what will happen is the media will move on, not acknowledge the scam. The media, right? Of course. What happened is they whipped you all up into a frenzy, you rioted, you believed some stories that weren't true, and now the money's been given away, and they're just not going to cover their screw-ups. That's what, it's not the lies that you hear blatantly. It's the stories that they never choose to cover. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to happen. Well, okay, thank you. You guys can comment below as to uh, how you like, you know, Gerald bringing in these segments because he is, he's a, he's a smart dude. This has been a Gerald knows things. Guys, I'm gay. Fabulous. I, I feel like they did that in like 10, like we do good work here. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that is good work. Almost seems intentional. Good job. Good job. Even Brennan. Almost. I don't know why you kept saying that into the mic, though. Yeah, I know. It was weird. Yeah. It was weird. That, I mean, we gave him the lines. Weird. Just, Unbelievable. He just refused to say them. I hate all of you. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's wrong to hate. So let's get on here to uh, former Vice President Biden. Yes. Now, the premise needs to be set up. And we were just talking about Whitmer. We, okay, you know what? Let's just say this. With Michigan, yeah. Michigan people think because the vote gap was so wide that there's no way there could have been some, some uh, untoward activity. Absolutely. We know Michigan. Oh. It did, none of it added up whatsoever. I, yeah, I don't agree with it. I was going to say, uh, most of the people in Michigan I know don't think it added up because yeah. they said that Wayne County had gone for Trump and then there was like a uh, cooler of ballots and then yes. they were covering up windows. Right. It seemed fishy at best. Yeah. Wait, wait, at 3.30 wait, in the morning, it was 100-something thousand yeah, votes. Yeah, here's, yeah. here's the problem is he was – Donald Trump was performing so much better in urban areas. Just like he, he won all of the Bellwether counties except for one. He was outperforming yeah. his previous performance with blacks, with Latinos, with every demographic. Yep. And then his stronger areas, these suburban areas – came back in a race sometimes 95, 98% for Biden. And Michigan would say, well, hold on, that's because they're mail-in votes. They were going to be Democrats. But you also said that the majority of people were mail-in voting. So you can't have just Democrats. It didn't no. add up. But because it was such a wide gap because of the corruption in Michigan, anyone who lives there knows exactly what I'm talking about. They just say, well, there's no way that this could have been uh, – this could have been anything but the freest and fairest election because uh, yeah. it's 160,000 whatever votes, as opposed to Arizona, where it's a much smaller gap. Right, exactly. They just what? make the lie so egregious that it's they assume people won't question it, whereas right. I think Michigan is the most blatant example of something not adding up. There you go. And you can go to our previous episodes where Dave was sent to like nine addresses that didn't actually exist. Yeah, it, it was, was weird. It was 100% of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we thought at least one might exist. Nope. Yeah. nope. No, just, By the uh, way, is this the same Michigan that had to overturn a local election because they got the results wrong? and told somebody they lost and then had to tell the other person that they actually yes. lost? Yes. Oh. I, but free and fair and absolutely accurate. Right. Got it. Now, here's the thing. So they want you to believe nationally. They don't want anyone to question, even though, by the way, the, the current uh, press secretary said that the 2016 election was stolen. So, meh. Oh. So they don't want you to even question what's happening when these are statistical anomalies that occur nowhere else in nature. And it's predicated on the idea that former Vice President Joe Biden is the most popular president ever. And of course they say, well, it wasn't necessarily a vote for Biden, it was a vote against Trump. It still doesn't make sense. And we'll go through the numbers to show you why that's obviously been plumped up. And it's not some grand conspiracy. It only, uh, it only requires five people to yeah. lie. Requires p five heads of companies to lie. And we'll, we'll, I'll present to you how that's happening. 
verified. All yeah. references available at lateralcutter.com. And right now, of course, uh, former uh, Vice President Biden is doing such a bang-up job mm-hmm. that uh, Elon Musk even took time uh, out of his day to, to, to praise the former VP's performance. But it's not as if Biden has flipped the script and said, okay, we're going to go 180 degrees in the other direction. He's kind of kept it the same, which has been really surprising, actually. Man, it's hard to tell what Biden is doing, to be totally frank. Um, (laughs) 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 Yeah. Like, I feel feel like it's weekend at Bernie's. The the, the real president is whoever controls the teleprompter. The path to power is the path to the teleprompter. You know, I, I do feel like, like if, if somebody would accidentally lead on the, lean on the teleprompter, it's going to be like Anchorman. It's going to be like QQQ, ASDF, one, two, three, you know, type of thing. Um, I mean, in fairness to Biden, he, he hasn't been napping as much as he needs to, but it's hard to say hard like, job. These are I mean, things just... that are getting done, you know. <laughs> now that's a little harsh. I yeah, it was well, it was rough, yeah. especially because it's not like Biden has said anything that crazy. Look, I know you got to be frustrated. I know. I can taste it. <laughs> all right, uh, maybe Elon was just harsh enough. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I know you're all burning toast. I can smell it. I can. Yeah. I know. I know. I can. You tried to steal a package. I can taste. <laughs> I know pennies. I can taste this. <laughs> I smell the poop <laughs> on myself. Here's the thing, and Dave, you know this. There's real value in seeing, you know, Elon Musk saying that, and an entire audience laughing. That's a guttural reaction that yeah. they can't control. Again, when someone else is not controlling what it is that you see or hear, people instinctively laugh because they know it's true. Yes, of course. That's the beauty of comedy. That's why they're going after comedians. It's people don't you can't control laughing. It's just it's an involuntary response. And you see it there in real time. Well, Well, this is what comedians were saying two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and that's not even something that he didn't even say a funny line. He just said, we don't really know what he's doing. And it's so bad. And it's so obvious that people are like, yeah, oh, God, we're all going to die. By the way, that guy, that guy literally made the joke that uh, Cat Williams, his recent special where he actually said, they bring out this weekend at Bernie's mother. He makes that exact joke. Yes. Yeah, oh, I like that. So maybe he watched the summit and it's he stole fitting. it. Yeah, just added a few mfs and n words. <laughs> you can't quote most of. Now nah, that's mine. I patented that shit. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> great that everybody's been calling him a dead guy that's propped up now for years. Yes, yes. Was, he, well, he looks like it. Well, well he, no, he does. It sounds like it. He looks it like Fire like Marshal Bill. Yes, <laughs> that's the creepy part when you see that meme, and I'm like, yeah. that is spot on. It really is. Yep, it's pretty rough. Even at the summit, uh, I should say Elon uh, had. Uh, Oh, that's right. He said this about uh, about his voting pattern. This is also pretty important. And, um, you know, the, the, the reality is uh, that, that Twitter at this point, you know, has uh, a very far left bias. Um, and I, I would class myself as, as a moderate and you know, neither Republican nor, nor Democrat. Um, and in fact, uh, I have voted voted overwhelmingly for Democrats uh, historically, overwhelmingly. Like, I've, I'm not sure. I might never have voted for a Republican, just to be clear. Right. Um, now, now, this election, I will. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Welcome to the tent. Well, I hope he, I hope this isn't just a selfish motive. You know what I mean? Where I, where I hope he's not just trying to f- find out what... Look, he's benefited from subsidies. In America? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's benefited from subsidies. He's benefited from the Green Movement. That being said, he's also done a lot to yeah. serve consumers and to advance technology. So he's not perfect. I'm just hoping that he continues along down this trail in 10 years from now. He's not saying, I, uh, I also still have never voted for Republicans because then right. you're stupid. Now, uh, it's not just Elon Musk. And I'm not in the business of defending billionaires. You know how much I dislike Jeff Bezos. I would love to see Jeff Bezos yeah. get Am- Amazon package uh, bombed. With his penis <laughs> rocket? Yes. <laughs> that would be really weird. <laughs> so um, he got in. He criticized Biden for conflating. You know, we talked about inflation, taxes and raising them and how that would actually fight inflation. Mm-hmm. So Bezos went after Biden, and uh, this is what he said. He said, it doesn't require a huge leap to figure out why one of the wealthiest individuals on the earth opposes an economic agenda for the middle class. Oh, sorry, that's a, qu- that's a quote uh, from the White House saying yeah. it, because Bezos said, uh, I should have read the other quote first, my apologies. No, we have This no, yeah. is Overlay E from Twitter, Jeff Bezos, and the references are available at lateralwithcredit.com. He said, look, a squirrel. This is the White House statements about my recent tweets. They understandably want to muddy the topic. They know inflation hurts the neediest the most, but unions aren't causing inflation, and neither are wealthy people. Remember, the administration tried their best to add another $3.5 trillion to federal spending. They failed, but if they had succeeded, inflation would be even higher than it is today, and inflation today is at a 40-year high. Hmm. Look, this is something, and I'm not, I'm not in the business of defending Jeff Bezos and billionaires, but keep right. in mind... 
all of these people have consistently supported Democrats. Yes. To be clear. Absolutely. They typically don't go after the White House. So the White House was responding. That first thing was their response to Bezos tweeting earlier. Right. And then he's and like, then he responded guys, to that they're response. Distracting. Yeah, they're distracting yeah. you from what's really going on here because their plan won't fight inflation. We've talked about this before. Billionaires tend to benefit from administration policies that are contracting the economy, right? Because yeah. they are the ones that can handle the issues. They can handle the slumps. They can also handle all of the regulations. The mom and pop shops can't. They go out of business. They have more market share. They're fine. You've got billionaires now poking the bear that typically don't poke the bear. Right. And that has to show you, like, that is how bad things are. They don't care at this point. Right. They know they're doing a crappy job. Put it this way. Let's say uh, they put an extra 50 cent tax on coffee. Okay. Just in a hypothetical situation. Who do you think's affected more? Your local coffee roaster shop that only has one place or Starbucks? Because even if Starbucks has one shutdown, guess what? They can withstand it, and then they're going to be the only ones left standing. Right. That's what happens. That's why these big companies, that's why big banks, that's why big airlines, that's why health care companies, health insurance companies, they're just betting on who they think will allow them to withstand the dip for as yeah. long as possible. It's harder for you because you don't have a never-ending supply, not only of billions of dollars but federal funds like a lot yeah. of these companies well they'll feign outrage oh no don't do that it'll kill the industry can't do that okay okay fine we're here still yeah exactly <laughs> that's, that's totally fine so you think you think joe biden you know um some of you may think he doesn't know how to deal with inflation well here's the thing i will say that um i don't think he clearly doesn't and that's because he has proven that he doesn't through his <laughs> own words let's li listen to former vice president joe biden Back then, and by back then, I mean anywhere from a year ago to like last week. Most of the price increases we've seen are were expected and are expected to be temporary. I don't know anybody, including Larry Summers, who's a friend of mine, yeah. who's worried about inflation. Talk of inflation, the overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. No one's talking about. Bro. This great, great deal. <laughs> it's un highly unlikely that it's going to be long-term inflation that's going to get out of hand. There's nobody suggesting there's unchecked inflation on the way. By the way, really quickly, I just want to point out before I get to what he's saying now, when you hear someone on the left make the argument from consensus, right away you need to start doing some research. Because truth is not always governed by consensus. For example, you can have a consensus of economists who say that actually inflation is a good thing. Remember when Joe Biden was arguing that? You can have a consensus, like they say 97% of scientists, which is horse crap, about right. uh, climate change, that there's a consensus on it. Well, hold on. Science isn't governed by consensus. It's not determined by consensus. It's determined by truth. The same thing for the economy. It doesn't At this point, we don't need a bunch of speculators. We don't need a bunch of ivory tower economists telling us what they think is going to happen. They were wrong before, and we are living it. You need to look at the statistics. You need to look at the data and how inflation has ha affected goods and services. So when they argue from the general consensus is, yeah, it doesn't, that's not an argument. You're simply saying, these people told me this, so I'm going to repeat it, because you're not willing to put your skin in the game and make an argument. What's the inflation rate, Joe? What's the price of beef, Joe? What's the price of gas, Joe? What's the price of everything, Joe? Uh, consensus. No, 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 no. We're not going to let you get out with that one. We did that with climate change for years, and look where we are. Consensus, consensus, consensus. At one point, there, were, there was consensus to put leeches on people to suck the demons out of them until we found out that, you know, they had some, uh, like, sickle cell, whatever it was. Leeches don't work, in case you don't know that now. <laughs> so let's go to what Joe Biden is saying now about inflation. With America's inflation anxiety already in overdrive, sure, gas what's prices happening now, just said right. blood pressure's racing wow. again. This weekend, the average price jumped to 445 a gallon. That's an all-time high. But beyond the consensus pump, is it's fine. millions are fed Nobody's up talking with the about cost of filling up everywhere they turn. Temporarily to forever. Cheaper or and then that the cheaper stuff is even higher now. Others feel as though they're running on fumes. I've never used the food banks before, but now I really almost have to come. I mean, it's changed very fast. Millions need help ASAP with food prices up again, both groceries and dining out. Just for sure. Airline tickets soaring, and most new cars come with one option pay above sticker price. Oh, wow. You're doing a great job, Joe. Bang up job. Hey, by the way, it's something that maybe people don't notice. Do you, the last three issues that they touched on, mm -hmm. can you guys n name a similarity, a through line with those? They showed airline tickets going up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Gas. They showed gas going Cars. up. Mm -hmm. Cars, food. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, these are industries devoid of regulation devoid. or bailout funds. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. No, there aren't agricultural subsidies. Mm. They don't dump milk and fix prices to protect the farmer. No, no, airlines have received no bailouts. We can't remember any of the bailouts from the auto industry, right? So mm. where do you see inflation hitting people the worst? And by the way, of course, gas. No, no, there's no regulation in the oil industry, mm. right? Of course, this is an Never. unregulated Wild West. Yeah. Again, the industries, and the problem is these industries then affect all of the others. They've never had to get it right. So when you have an industry like cars yeah. with the American car manufacturers who deserve to go bankrupt because they, they created crappy cars that people didn't want to buy, they get bailed out. Well, guess what? They've never corrected their business model. And now we also add on top of that a hurting economy. Well, that makes inflation worse. When you look at agricultural subsidies, yeah. well, they've never gotten it right. So like, well, we need to protect the farmer because it's unpredictable. Well, guess what? Now you're being subsidized by the government. You've never had to readjust your business model. You've never had to look at your profits and losses. And now we have a bad economy. And so it's even worse. You look at airlines. How many times have we bailed out airlines? Yeah. Remember, it was supposed to be temporary that you were going to pay for checked bags. Right. Hmm. They never have to readjust their business model. So there's never a point where the prices go down. That's something that people don't necessarily understand. A lot of inflation is because the, these prices keep going up because they never have to get it right. Right. Well, and it's a perverse incentive because they know that the government will bail them out, and so they will make increasingly risky bets until it happens. Right. You don't want that to happen because that crashes the economy for everybody but them. Right. Well, yeah, from $25 a bag to like 35 if you check two to now it's more expensive if you check two. Right. And flights that were seriously $200 a year ago are $900 Oof. now. Right. Well, that's why I decided to check you as a bag, Dave. Well, that's yes. what I do. I gave do. you an oxygen bottle. I mean, yeah. come on. Well, I, he, I go in a little puppy crate. He does the old Yogi Berra routine. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Think about it this way. Let's move forward a few years so the airlines have been bailed out. Let's yeah. use that as an example. Airlines sucked. Okay. Couldn't get their business model right. American taxpayers bailed them out. So what happened? Did the tickets go down? Did airlines become more competitive? No. They don't need to because they're not beholden to the market. So the tickets go up. Okay. Now the prices have gone up. What should usually happen is fewer people are going to fly. Yes. Right? And so the airline goes, oh, my gosh, we're losing revenue. We need to ch you know, You know what will happen? The airlines will say, we're losing revenue. We can't sustain ourselves. And then the government will step in and bail them out. So you never have the recorrection and the dip. You just have a constant line of more money, more money, more money, more money, more money. That doesn't happen anywhere else. It yeah. doesn't happen anywhere else in business. If the demand goes down, you better find a way to either cut the prices, create a more competitive product, or you're gone. These industries have never had to do that. Well, and then overlay unions in these industries. Yeah. Right? Yeah. With the inability to change some of these things because prices are going down, people aren't flying, or I'm sorry, prices are going up, people aren't flying. They can't. Right. They have fixed costs because of this. Well, too big to fail. Well, too big to too fail. Too big to fail. We can't because if the airlines no. close, yeah. no one else will step up and, uh, you know, how will people get around? Uh, teleportation. I yeah. don't know. So uh, I like that. <laughs> I would like to do that too. I just don't want to end up like Goldblum in the fly. I know. Uh, I always think about that, that too. Yeah. You like get to your destination, in Hawaii, and you're just like, <laughs> but you're in Hawaii. Like, Where's Dave's on the wall? <laughs> oh. Listen, don't me. complain. <laughs> so here's the thing. We obviously know that billionaires don't like Joe Biden. Uh, we obviously know that the middle class, working class, doesn't really like Joe Biden. Um, but, but he does have a base. Yeah. Somewhere, right? A base of a, most a, popular president ever. Ever. Yes. In history. I'm sorry. That was a lie. Mm. So this just uh, came out. This is a Newsweek, by the way. Biden's Twitter followers. Turns out over half of them are fake. What? Yeah, this is from Newsweek. Spark Toro's tool. This is a tool like an, a, a tool that actually, I don't know, runs an algorithm to find out which accounts are fake. Yeah. The tool found that 49.3% of personal accounts following the official President of the United States Twitter account are fake followers based on an analysis of a number of factors, including location issues, default profile images, and new users. Um, here's the thing. This should surprise nobody <laughs> if you've been following what we've been discussing on the show because there have been little chips uh, chips that have been you know, sort of been happening in big tech, right? They chip away, they chip away, they chip away that we've been highlighting for few years now. Yeah. This is just about. a new one where people go, oh, this is relevant because of Elon Musk talking yeah. about bots, which, by the way, they may have committed fraud if they lied to him about the percentage of fake users on Twitter. So the, right. there are a lot of dynamics at play, but it's not just Twitter. Um, YouTube, we talked about this. They removed dis dislikes from Jen Psaki's first press briefing. <laughs> wow. There were so many. Yeah. And there was over a four-hour span when we covered this. Dislikes went from more than 10,000 down to 3,000. Oh, my gosh. And even even PolitiFact acknowledged this, just so you know. And this is something I know pretty well with YouTube. So we saw this happen. I, there, was a, there was a discrepancy with likes and yeah. dislikes. And then the dislikes were removed. 
independent creators like myself, we love the dislike button. Yeah. Because we go, hey, look at it, look at this, and then look at Trevor Noah. <laughs> right? It shows what the market actually wants versus you thrusting Seth Meyers into someone's autoplay for the right. umpteenth time, which nobody has asked for in the history of ever. I pay them to do that to you. Right. Well, you know what? Well played. Effective. That's a, that's a digital version of an exploding Amazon package. And I poop. So with YouTube, PolitiFact said, oh, it was spam. Look, that doesn't check out. Yeah. Obviously, what would be spam is, let's say, a press briefing or let's say some kind of a, an address from former Vice President Biden. Let's say it had 50,000 likes and then it jumped all of a sudden in a way that was not aligned with the pattern to 75,000 likes. That's where you could say someone is going in that there's spam yeah. or even what would be considered but not quite denial of service tactics where a bunch of people went in and spammed dislike. Yeah. What I have never seen on YouTube is a like and dislike ratio and then it changing. Yeah. Changing, where it says, no, no, we're going to change. Likes are going to go up and dislike. Dislikes never, ever go down. That cannot be spam. Someone has to manually go in and change that. Someone said, oh, my gosh, uh, this is comparing this to the Trump briefings, comparing this yes. to the Trump yeah. State of the Union addresses. We got to uh, 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 boom and switch it. And then when they said, but then when a bunch of people said, hey, hold on a second, you switched it. They said, no, no, we didn't. It was spam. But you know what? It's not going to be a problem anymore because we're just going to get rid of the dislike button. Yeah, well, I was going to say, do, did you do that for the independent creators that are conservative that had a disproportionate amount of spam for dislikes? Because if it's happening to the White House, certainly it's happening to other people. Yes. You did it across the board, right? Mm -hmm. Or did you just do it for the White House? Right. Yeah. Just like they want to do it for big tech wants to be in bed with big companies. Yeah. YouTube wants to be in bed with CNN and MSNBC because they have more advertising dollars. Keep in mind, NBC gets fav favoritism in the algorithms because they spend... I don't know how many millions of dollars in advertising on YouTube and independent content creators can't. So they're on both sides of that coin. And, of course, half of their reporters uh, were former White House employees in one shape or another. Guys, 7,000 people hit the wrong button. Yes. They did. And then all that happened. It. They retracted their button. Yes. They were like, what am I doing? Right. <laughs> and they hit like instead. Well, but I love how they took the dislike button away and they're like, look, we're not going to do that because it's bad for content creators. We don't want their mental like health affected by this. But they didn't take away oh. the ability for you to hit the dislike button and for the content creators yes. to see it. Yeah. You still see it on the back end. Yeah, we, I still see it on the back end. Yeah, we don't want to so hurt your mental, your mental health. health not protected. We want, we want to hide information from you. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't want to hurt your mental health. So we want you to deal with the, the stain for you privately. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you have the least amount of help. Yeah. And let's also not forget that big tech employees, when people talk about big business, it's not even close. When people used to bitch about big business, whether it was banks yeah. or oil companies, or uh, I'm trying to think of other big companies that would be an example, uh, you know, like AT&T, companies Bob like Bell. that, you know, Bob you Evans. would be talking about maybe some of them did like a 60-40 Republican split. Yeah. Right? And that would be considered favoritism and people would go out and protest. Uh, now we have companies that are far more powerful than international governing bodies. And the split is not like 60-40. It's 98, 99% for Democrats. Twitter, when you look at wow. the, uh, the big tech employees, 99%. Democrats. Democrats. Netflix, 98%. Alphabet, which is Google and YouTube, 88%. Oh, okay, well, that's a little Microsoft, 85 Apple, 84 Amazon, 77 Facebook, 77%. That's almost like a vote dump coming in at 3 o'clock in the morning. Almost. After they said they've stopped counting votes. Yes. Just, just to be clear. Well, to be fair, they accidentally said that while they were hitting the dislike button. That's true. <laughs> of course. Many of them retracted their votes. I don't know if you guys yes. knew that. Yeah. They yeah, refilled yeah, yeah, them yeah. in. Yeah. Right. That, well, that's a good point. Thank you for fact-checking. They should no have problem. just said, please look away while we do what we're about to do, and we'll talk to you in the morning. Well, they did. They just did it with newspapers. <laughs> yes. And Bristol boards. Yes. <laughs> Which I don't know where you get that many Bristol boards. I haven't gotten a Bristol board since the fourth grade. Well, well that's why there's around. so many left over to cover up windows. Right. <laughs> And keep in mind, this is when we talk about a conspiracy, and I want you to comment below on this because I've, I've, always, I've always had a low-grade irritation for conspiracy theorists mm -hmm. because it's like the Jesse Ventura thing where they never really come up with answers. They say, I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking what happened about Tower 7. Uh, okay, but what's the answer? I'm just asking, what, why don't you want to ask questions? I am, but <laughs> I want to eventually come to an answer. What I'm saying here is yeah. how many people have to be involved with this to be a conspiracy. Well, we just give you the numbers of the employees, and of course you have the CEOs uh, that's, that are included in big tech companies who give overwhelmingly to Democrats. You have the numbers that you see on YouTube. You have the numbers that you just saw on Twitter. Over half of them are fake. And it's also not far-fetched to think that they are working with the White House when publicly 
White House officials like Jen Psaki, not anymore, but once upon a time, the press secretary, she was encouraging big tech to do their bidding for them. Our hope is that all major tech platforms and all major news sources, for that matter, be responsible and be vigilant to ensure the American people have access to accurate information on something as significant as COVID-19. That they say certainly is includes Spotify. So this disclaimer, <laughs> it's a positive step, but we want every platform to continue doing more to call out misinform and mis and disinformation while also uplifting accurate information. Yeah. Do you have any idea as to how scary that is? Before we even got to the Board of Misinformation, the Ministry of Truth, you don't think that official, you don't think that Susan Wojcicki, you don't think that whether it's Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg at that point, Jack Dorsey, you don't think that they hear a proxy, the arm of the former Vice President of the United States, you don't think they hear that person saying, hey, we really want you to do this and have a decision to make? You don't think they have her on speed dial? It's not far-fetched. Guess what? They're going to say, oh, well, we better listen because these people can uh, tax us more or regulate us more. It's yeah. not some random person. This is the proxy of the president of the United States saying, we really hope that you create more misinformation targeting. And what's that? Anyone who questions vaccinations uh, uh. for COVID. And by that, I mean anyone who questions their efficacy for, uh, you know, people who are 25, uh, 25 and younger on their fourth booster. We really hope that uh, all these other big tech companies, you know, uh, maybe uh, clamp down on Joe Rogan. We're just saying we really hope that you don't allow anyone uh, out there to say that this was anything other than the freest and fairest election. Doesn't require that many people to be involved. It's her saying all the oxen free and Bezos and Zuck Zuckerberg popping their head out. Like, all right, yeah. okay, I'll do well, what you we, want. We really hope that you censor this fake story about Hunter Biden's laptop. Remember. Yep. Right? You just tell people what they can and can't hear. That, that's the problem. Like in an, if you and the same people world, listening are the people who plumped up Joe Biden's Twitter yes. followers to, 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 to by, by 49%. Yeah. In a perfect world, of course, it would be great if we didn't have disinformation and misinformation. But unfortunately, we don't live in that world. And the only way to try to get there is to say, hey, somebody is in charge of determining what it is. That never works. Eventually, even if you get an altruistic person who does it perfectly the first time, it eventually will devolve into somebody telling you what is true, not telling you what truth is. But have we ever had it like it is now, where everything's in cahoots with each other in the sense of... Because we've never had this many, uh, I don't know, places where you can have it. They yeah. used to have it with, I will say this, they had it once upon a time with legacy media. You right. know, Walter Cronkite was considered, my God, an actual journalist. Yes. And then we had this beautiful short window with the internet where everyone was able to have a voice. Yes. And yeah. that's how Joe, during that period is when Joe Rogan flourish it's when we grew which then came to a screeching halt on youtube we cannot gain new new subscribers on our main channel yeah and by that i mean when people say well, well what makes it well one one hundredth of the growth that we saw every single month for five years one one hundredth to the day of demonetization yeah. and then it became a national story and that's why the best thing you can do is if if you're willing share this because that's what the youtube algorithm favors right now and it's an upstream battle but they used to have that and then they said oh my gosh we were late to the party abc CNN, CBS. So then they said, we need to get on YouTube. We need to eliminate independent content creators. Right. I can tell you this because when I worked at Fox News, there were people, there was a legal department at Fox News that removed from my own channel my clips of me appearing on Fox News. They said, we don't want, we don't want anything going on Fox <laughs> News. We don't want any Fox News stuff. We want people using our player exclusively. I said, well, this oh. is a way to reach new people. And now they have Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity doing end cards. Yeah. Sean yeah. Hannity, if you like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the internet, correct? <laughs> yeah, their app as well. Yeah. Whereas they used to fight it, fight it, fight it, and then yeah. they said, okay, now we want it to be ours, and we want to get rid of the yeah. competition. Right. So that's – it's just a reincarnation of what we used to have. But here's my question, too, and this should have been my question of the day. They said the dislike to likes. Oh, it was just a spam. It, it, it was an oversight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, 49.5% at minimum of Joe Biden's followers were fake. It was just an oversight. You didn't have anyone monitoring the most powerful man in the world's account. It's just an oversight. That's what happened with us when we had things get removed on YouTube, right? Several times that were reinstated. Oh, it was just, it was just an oversight. Has there ever been an oversight that has gone favorably in the other direction? Has there ever been an oversight that has helped, for example, a channel like ours grow? Has there ever been an oversight that takes place or has taken place during an election that was then changed? I know you're talking about that example in Michigan. That's just because they got 
caught. They got caught. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Why do the oversights and the glitches always go one direction? Mm. You remember those stories about the oversights of, oh, too many spam dislikes on the Trump briefings? Genuinely, can you comment below? I, I want if, if to, if I'm missing some, I would love to know it. How can they always go in one direction? It's weird. Mm. Okay. Speaking of uh, direction, mm -hmm. Project Veritas is... <laughs> I mean, this is so funny. they're on a one-way track. We need to uh, admonish me we here. Do. You need to admonish me. Yeah, let's... Because yesterday I said... Admonish. If you are a nerdy, uh, undesirable employee at one of the big tech companies and, uh, you know, a bosomy blonde approaches you... Right. You're being honeypotted, and it's probably Project Veritas. Right. And I said, Good this advice. Is, yeah, and I said, they're always sending women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just how what they do is they send attractive women and then guys, uh, they drool over themselves and they just give a bunch of information. So I was wrong and I apologize, women. That yeah. was a generalization. Um, <laughs> there was a guy this time. Now, this is a guy who approached the, the lead client partner, a guy named Alex Martinez in Twitter. So two guys. So Project Veritas sent in a guy. Ah. And they still got the keys to the vault, which I'm imagining... I just watched this clip this morning, probably just two strawberry daiquiris. So I was <laughs> confused <laughs> as to how a guy could get this information. Well, let's watch the clip. People are starting to leak shit now. Like what? Unfortunately, it would be like you recording oh, you right now and honey dick. giving it to like <laughs> the New York Times. And like, here, I just had <laughs> right. dinner with the Twitter representative. Here's what he had to say. Well, well, they, they, they got a notice from corporate <laughs> security. Targeting of tapes. Wait, 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 wait. You can read it. Let me see. You can have to protect yourself. <laughs> Groups wow. like Project Veritas are active right it now. On purpose. <laughs> Is that? Uh, it's like some group that's trying to just out the employees. Like they're trying to like go right on now. dates with them, like this. <laughs> Come on, he came out a long time ago. <laughs> and go sell it to the New York Times and say this yeah, is what Twitter employee just said. Like, this is what's really happening. This is what they're telling us to not do. <laughs> you're lucky that you yeah, met me organically because I would be questioning everything that. about you. Now, to <laughs> be fair, you're like, why is that guy so, you know, loose lips sink yeah, yeah. Uh, gay ships? We, the, the man who was the Project Veritas uh, investigative reporter in question was this guy. So it is tough. Yeah. Ah, well, Ooh. that's. I'd resistant. even talk to him. <laughs> I love that this guy is like, yeah, they, they warned us about this because we were talking about it. They have got to be beating their heads against the table going, how do we keep falling for this? These employees are so stupid. They just always get a little bit drunk with someone they yes. want to have sex with. And they yeah. send a notice it's out it. saying, be careful. Don't go on dates. And the guy's like, yeah, it could be a date like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so glad I met you organically. Yeah. And you came up to me weirdly and started asking me questions about my job. Yep. Yeah. At the Purple Stallion when we were watching that movie, it was just weird. It was just, it just felt so swipe right. <laughs> Hector brought AIDS into this office. Yes. AIDS. <laughs> It's happened so quickly, oh, so hats so off funny. to Project Veritas, but this yeah. guy is basically saying everything that we already know. And again, yeah. how many examples do you have to have of people in positions of authority? Hey, you know what? Liberals, leftists, do your stings with big tech. <laughs> hey, I yeah. will actually fund it. I will fund go. this. This is not a joke. I will fund liberal activists who want to do stings at big tech, just like Project Veritas. And if you can come back with any example... Of them saying that we disproportionately throttle liberals. Yeah. That Facebook or YouTube, if you can find any example undercover of people who work in these companies saying they're trying to screw leftists out of being on their platforms or trans LGBTQAIP, I'll fund this thing operation. <laughs> I will buy you the camcorder that you duct tape to your forehead. <laughs> That's fair. I love We've it. never seen it. No, no, we've oh, never not. seen it. Of course not. But in the hearings, uh, Hirono and the others were saying, of course, they, they target lefts as well as right. I mean, come on. There, there is no there's no bias in these companies right now. Come on. Yeah, they well, they're, they're just <laughs> dangling meat in front of horny people and giving <laughs> all the information they need. Guys like, uh, hey, yeah, what can you tell us about uh, Twitter censoring people? Well, I'm not allowed to talk about that. Here's another frozen margarita. Ooh, well, we get Ooh. rid of conservatives, and I'm a communist. Uh, the button on my jeans just opened. Yeah. Oh, boy, do I have to tell you. <laughs> wow. I would be totally worried about you if I hadn't met you. So wait, is that your penis? So <laughs> casually. <laughs> That's just the fly tangs so are just funny. like pianos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
Hey, th- uh, speaking of censoring and the disinformation board that we brought up uh, uh-huh. just now, Lane just sent me this. They're pausing the disinformation board. Oh, good. Yeah, there was just a, just enough too much, just enough backlash, just enough time though for them to spend a hundred billion dollars on another right. useless, right. Yeah, bureaucratic pile of crap. <laughs> Who do they test these concepts with? Yes, we're going to call it the disinformation board or the Ministry of Ministry of Truth. I know there was somebody coming up with that. Right. Like, of course they're going to come up with that. Yeah. How do you look at that and go, yeah, let's put this person in charge. She has a terrible past. Yeah. And that'll be good. And by the way, TikTok, she's the right. problem with the country. But, you know, blacks and Latinos are becoming more and more conservatives. Just yeah. so you know, it's it's suburban white hags who are the ones destroying the country. We need to build a wall around Pottery Barn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a little bit yeah. until 2025 ish. Just send 50 Mexicans and a pallet of bricks to every anthropology and seal them in until 2025. Just, just for a minute. <laughs> That's right. And then you can come back out. Mm-hmm. Pier one imports. Yep. Yep, just uh, buy their votes with Kohl's cash. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That that's the demographic. It's suburban women, like the yeah. person who is in charge of the board of misinformation. Who is? We need to make it a safer because women deal with horrible misogyny online. Do you have any idea the kinds of tweets and private messages that Dave, Gerald, and I get? Mm-hmm. You guys get private messages? Oh, yeah. Mainly from you. A <laughs> lot of dick pics. Yeah. Well, that's not exactly what it is. It's someone else's. No, it's just pictures of his face. Yeah. <laughs> Gay! <laughs> <laughs> got a dick face. Kid. I got it. Yeah. Sorry, I had to throw in a zinger. <laughs> the dick face. That's why they call me. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I know. He's Careful. You're you. not allowed to do this on YouTube. We'll censor you. Oh, show. that's so true. I'm, I'm sorry. not actually. Yeah, goes at me. Kill you. Just hold up. Hold up. No, you can't do that either. Just hold up like, oh, you know, like these? pantomime guns. <laughs> you can't do this. Cause Can I hug? Uh, well, Gerald's hug? If it's a man. Yeah, so he is? Yes. Yes. Gerald's hug. Die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to go meet a man in a bar and tell him about this show. What, what was that, the cave closing in Aladdin? Jeez. No, that was from uh, Independence Day. All right. So uh, <laughs> this... Uh, <laughs> that was from... <laughs> This out pretty spot on too. <laughs> this, was spot it was. On. It really was. <laughs> this man out competing Brian Stelter for straightest man on earth at Twitter um, also said that <laughs> Twitter isn't profitable because of the leftist ideological bent of the business, uh, which is bad. Okay, but here's the thing. You know, I've said that gay people and trans people often get away with behavior that would be completely unacceptable for people who aren't gay or trans. How fast do you think I would get in trouble if I just made fun of someone who was actually special needs for being special needs? <laughs> there would be a, a hit piece on the web today. Right. But if you say it with a lisp, like this Twitter employee undercover, a uh-huh. little bit sloshed, it softens the landing. Elon Musk is a person. He is whatever. I don't think he's a loony tune. He's, has os- he has Asperger's. Asperger's? Yes. Yeah, I know that. So he's special. We all know that. That's fine. So you know he's going to say some crazy because he's special. Because again, don't you also see his piece of, why can't we just all love each other? Have you seen his other tweets where he's like, I'm like, you're special needs. You're literally special needs. <laughs> literally, though, you really are. So, I can't even take what you're saying seriously. Because you're special. He's so. a genius, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's wow. taking people to space. What are you yeah. doing? He I'm made rocket ships in the electric car. He's just special needs, so no one says anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a little bit quirky. He's not I am Sam. No, it's not. <laughs> and you're unemployed. Yeah. What a moron. <laughs> he's like, I want a SpaceX right now. <laughs> no one says anything bad about him because he's special needs. Yes, you do. You all say bad things <laughs> about him. All you literally time. go on to say it within the next phrase. Like, So we shouldn't take anything he says oh. because he's special. <laughs> but that's the thing with liberals, right? You see it. And with leftists, he's not using the word retarded. So right. people say, well, it's not yeah. that offensive. They want to make it about words, not about context. Right. I think saying, hey, you know what? Uh, that person is, uh, is, be careful. That person is mentally retarded. So, uh, you know, be aware of it. I think that that is less offensive than someone saying, hey, that special needs person is less of a person. Yeah. Which one matters to you? <laughs> context above content. I don't know. Do we have anything else to say about this? No, uh, I think that's a good way to put about it. This, can I say fairy? No, 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 yeah, no, he's the truth fairy. Well, I did. <laughs> truth he's no Tinkerbell. <laughs> no, he is exactly Tinkerbell. <laughs> 
He's certainly one of the lost boys. Oh, they man. call him three in the stinker bell. Yes. <laughs> Just wait till he rolls up his legs and yells, bangerang. <laughs> what a moron. Well, Justice I think is someone needs the boo box. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the boo Oh. <laughs> Not the I boo never box. wish someone's job be taken away, but well. wow. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, that's that's ill-gotten gain. That job. Oh yeah, he's he'd yeah. make a great major d at Applebee's. Yes, I mean, right. what do you keep this guy on and be like, yeah? Are you the guy that literally pulled like the notice up while on a date saying don't go on dates because this company could be catfishing you? I mean, how you? does the CEO or how whoever is in charge human resources bring him in when they? Fire him. Where do they even start? It's like, oh my god, is it because I got drunk on camera? No. Is it because when I got drunk, I revealed their algorithmic secrets? No. Is it because I made fun of Elon Musk for being retarded? No. Is it because I slept with the Project Very Tested reporter? No. no. I just can you just give me a hint? Uh, all of them. Oh, that makes sense. This guy's oh, gonna I have see. to not only change his name and appearance; he's going to have to become straight to get out from under this. Yeah. He's going to have to change. Yeah. By the way, if him. anybody's gonna keep your secrets, caddy gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like currency for those <laughs> <Right>. people. <laughs> oh, he's just—it's over. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Right. That was a really bad idea. How? Yeah. If I could, if I could crypto mine gay rumors. <laughs> There are going to be no people going on dates at all in Silicon Valley, right? <laughs> For a little while. It's just going to be barren. It's going to be a real dry spot. No swipe uh, rights at all. Yeah. There's one conservative gay guy like, what the yeah. fuck? Ah. Yeah, you and I could be confetti coin billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, the doge awesome. dog with yeah. eyeshadow. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a dog? Is it a fox? It's a dog. It's what is a Shibu something? Oh, Shiba Inu. Uh, it's Shiba worthless. Inu. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's a, almost worthless. It's not a net quite. loss. That's what it is. No, it's yeah, it's still got some value. It's uh, you're working till seventy two. Yeah, if That's you've got a lot of them, and I mean a lot, <laughs> you may have some dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Crying out loud, the actual like fake chocolate dollars are worth more. <laughs> That's than true. Doge those coins, coins yeah. that you get those are good. All right. Okay. So there you go. I don't have much more to add to Project Very. What's going on there with Project Veritas? We we've already known this to be true. Yep. I'm just surprised as to it's just how brazen they are. They don't fear accountability. They really don't. I mean, if I have someone come up after one of our shows and tell me that I have nice hair, I'm like, uh, what are you trying? What are you trying to get from me? <laughs> 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 Look at them a little leery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll stop saying that. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind if you say it. You don't have to reach out and touch it. Oh. I can't help it. <laughs> Gross. Something we all know you want to reach out and touch. All right. Speaking of which, we're going to go to Mug Club here because there's no way we can... I am actually looking uh -huh. forward to watching this. Yes. Because... Alone. You guys know exactly... Oh, which, by the way, reminds me. Hey, Johnny Boy or uh, Maximus. Uh -huh. This is not a joke. I forgot to bring it in. In my office desk... In the center drawer is where all of my She-Hulk cards are. <laughs> if you could grab them. They're laminated, and they're in perfect mint condition. Why would they be laminated? Well, I'll explain that behind uh, the Mug Club. <laughs> so we are going to watch. If you're watching your Mug Club, lotofscard.com slash Mug Club, they will bring in those cards. That's not... That's it's real. It's yeah, real. one hundred percent real. We're going to uh, watch the... Uh, you have, we have a teaser here, right? Of the, uh, No, it just, we... Um... We're no, not going to do just it. A, oh, that's right, because we'll get hit yeah. with a copyright thing. Okay. Yeah. We're going to watch the new She-Hulk trailer, mm -hmm. yeah. which is also, I mean, the working title was Lesser Hulk. Uh, <laughs> piss off, YouTube. <laughs>